In this lesson, we are going to learn how to import the DXA file in ETAPS. Uh, first, I want to import the grids. So, go to the file menu, then import, and click on DXF of architectural grids. Now, select the DXF file, and here, choose the DXF file units. In our case, it's meter. Then, select the grids layer, which we have defined before, then click OK. Now, save your file. As a result, now the grids are simply defined. Now let's import the other layers. So go to the file menu, then import. But in this time, choose DXF file architectural plan. Now choose the DXF file again. Once we select the plan, a new form has shown up. But I will leave the default setting, only change the units to meter, then choose the story one. Now click OK. Now go to plan, then select the story one. As you can see, the architectural plan is now displayed. When working with the DXF plan, one of the key tools is the architectural plan options command. This allows us to set which items are to be displayed. We will start by displaying only the columns. Now with display tab active, if we expand the model windows branch, and then architectural layer branch, we can now see all the different layers. And I need you to notice that the A columns is highlighted, which means that it is active. Now right click on it and click add column option. As you can see, the column object are added and fill the polylines. Next, I will change the layers to display the walls. Now, click the draw wall button. And in the properties of object form, make sure that the type is set to beer. Now, select W35. Then, right click and choose Add e tabs wall. As you can see, a tab has drawn the wall. With the same procedure, I'm going to draw the other walls. Now, change the probability to W30 to draw the course. Now, I finished all walls. Also, I need to do a check on the local access. So click on set display options under object assignment tab, check local access. Now, as you can see, all shear walls in the X direction have the same local access and also all shear walls in the Y direction have the same local access too. So it's okay for now. Next, Change the layers to display the slab. Then click the draw floor button and in the properties of object form select F30. Now right click and choose add a re option. Next we will change the layers to display the opening. And in the properties of object form, select opening. Now right click and choose add area object. Next, I will change the layers to display the beams. Then click the draw beam button. And in the properties of object form, 
select B30 by 90. Now right click and choose add beam options. Now I have finished drawing all elements. So I can go and hide the architectural plane. Now I need to assign my sections to the columns. So select these four columns and go to the assign menu, then frame, then section properties. Select the R70 by 100, then click upload. Also select the two columns in the corner, then select RC50 by 100, then click upload. As you can see, the sections has been assigned to the columns. Now I need to rotate them. So select them, then go to assign, frame, then local axis. Set the angle to 90 degree, then click upload. The last step for our lesson today is to do a fast check for our model, so I can figure out any problems before replicating it. So go to the analyze menu, then click check model comment. Now in this form, select all options, then click OK. As a result, a new window showing up with message says that there are no warning message, so it's OK for now. And also it is the end of our lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to learn how to define the load pattern. So hang on for that.